Hello everyone, welcome back to Asha.academy. Today, let me take you through invitations and replies. When will you write down invitations and replies? When you conduct parties to celebrate birthdays, wedding anniversaries, engagements, and weddings. Some people organize religious, social, political, and public functions. In that case, you do write invitations to invite friends, relatives, acquaintances, celebrities, and others to these functions. Is it not? Okay. So here, invitations. You do have two types of invitations. One is formal and then the other one is informal. And again, under formal, we do have two types. One is card print and then the other one is letter type. So here, this formal invitation has got fixed format, where in informal letter, it is a friendly letter. Formal invitation. So let me take you through the card print now. So when you want to invite many people, in that case, you'll go for card print. Let's say when you want to conduct any event in your school, like annual day, sports day, or any other tournament in that case you will be going for card print right so what is that and how to go about the main features of this card print are the very first one a formal invitation is normally a single sentence presentation in third person so it must be written in a single sentence only one sentence uh, will be used here and not only that in third person you shouldn't make use of first or second. Then the next one, formal invitations are generally printed invitation cards. So as I already told you, it's a card print. We use them to invite guests on some auspicious occasion like birthdays, weddings, inauguration of shops, houses, etc. Yes. And then the invitation answers the questions who, whom, when, where, what, what time and for what. Yes. Who conducts the program? or when it is conducted, where it is conducted, at what time, or for what, all such uh, questions will be answered here in this card. So, the occasion, what is the event, whether it is annual day, republic day, or independence day program, or whatever it is, marriage function, or birthday party, all such details will be given here. Names of the invitee, names of the invitee, not in case of printed cards bear it in your mind not in case of printed cards right names of the invitee because you are going to write it for many here and that's the reason you're not going to write on the names of the invitee so here names of the host who is going to host the uh, program or the celebration or the party here date time and venue you will be writing down day date time and venue and then special guest who is the chief guest for that particular program? You need to highlight it there in the card. Then, so as I already told you, main features of this one, of this card print is the very first one, name or designation of the host. So here you need to write Mr. and Mrs. Khanna. Yes, and then the request is made using the standard expression. What is that standard expression? cordially invite mr and mrs khanna cordially invite or solicit your gracious presence or seek the pleasure of your company or request the pleasure of your benign presence or cordially request the honor of your presence anything will do here then the third point the reason for the invitation or occasion for their birthday party or for their son's birthday party or for a school annual day and then day, day, time, venue on Saturday, 12th February at 10 o'clock at 10 a.m. in the auditorium. Finally, special guest, uh, Mr. Virat Kohli has consented to be the chief guest. Something like that, you need to write it down. And then. So RSVP, it's a French word, which means please respond. So at the bottom left corner, you need to write down RSVP 
with the address and phone number. You shouldn't write down your address and phone number. Whatever has been given there in the question paper, you need to write it down. And the most important thing is this one should be put up in a box. Invita invitation must be put up in a box here. And that too, it should be written in third person. Mind it, it should be written in third person. And then comes, you are AM Vishal, draft a formal invitation for the housewarming ceremony at 19C, Nehru Nagar, Bengaluru. So here, Mr. and Mrs. Yayan Vishal, request the pleasure of your benign presence on the auspicious housewarming ceremony at the new residence, 19C Nehru Nagar, Bengaluru on Sunday, 10 February at 9 a.m. So host has been given here. Yes. And then the standard expression requests the pleasure of your benign presence. And then you need to go for occasion. And then you need to write down day, date, time, and venue. And finally, RSVP, that is the uh, one who's about to conduct the program. So contact details. So you will be writing that one, right? And then the next one. One more example for you. Assume that you are the principal of a certain school and you are, that is ABC International School, and you would like to invite the parents and many other people uh, to celebrate the annual day function of your school. Then in that case, you need to draft, a, draft an invitation here. So here. The principal staff and the students of ABC International School Bengaluru solicit your gracious presence on the auspicious occasion of the annual day function of the school on Saturday, 11 February 2022 at 5 p.m. Honorable Education Minister Mahesh will be the chief guest and will give away the prizes to the students and Benedict that one RSVP address, right? So here, see, the chief guest name has been highlighted here right and here it should be written in a box and then one more example for you for birthday celebration here you can have a look at this one so what is the very first thing you need to write down host and then standard expression and what is the occasion or the event and then you need to write down day date time venue and then rsvp so these are all mandatory for writing invitation here. That is especially formal invitation. It should be written in third person and it should be written in uh, inside a box. And then responding to invitations. How to respond to formal invitation here? Yes, a formal reply is usually very short. It must be very short and crisp here. It is brief and to the point, the quality of a good reply must always be pleasant. Even while declining the invitation or expressing inability to attend, one must be polite and courteous. Formal replies demand a formal tone and treatment. There is no room for unnecessary details or superfluous matter in them. So to sum it up, what you should do here, it must be really very short and you need to be very polite and courteous even while expressing your inability to attend that particular program. And the tone must be really very formal here. And then an informal reply or private letter may, however, express personal feeling or desires in an intimate style and informal tone. So you can express your feelings or desires here in this informal reply. Then the next one, main characteristics of formal replies. So here the very first thing is you need to acknowledge the invitation and then you need to express thanks in third person. Again, it should be in third person only. You need to place the record of gratitude. And then mention acceptance or regret. Whether you are accepting it or declining it, you need to write it down. Specify the reason for refusal. If you are refusing, if you are declining the invitation, then in that case, you need to write down the prior engagement whatever you have got it you need to mention that one and then you need to be very brief and specific and then again 
be formal in tone and treatment. It should be very formal. So here are the next one. Reply to formal invitations here. Write a formal reply to Mr. and Mrs. Chauhan accepting the invitation to attend the birthday of their son. So you need to give a formal reply here. How to give a formal reply? So here you need to accept it. So acceptance here. Mr. and Mrs. Banerjee thank Mr. and Mrs. Chauhan for inviting them on the occasion of the third birthday of their son Mirai on Monday. 17th February 2022 at Aloft Hotel and inform them that they will be glad to attend the function. So again, you need to, what you need to do, you need to thank the host first. You need to acknowledge them and then thank the host. And what is the event here? You need to write it down on which date, day and time, all those details you need to write it down. And then venue and then you need to inform them that you are really very glad to attend the function in case of acceptance. And this must be written in a box. Mind it, this must be written in a box. And then comes, write a formal reply to Mr. and Mrs. Mainan regretting your inability to attend the birthday function of their son due to a prior engagement. So here refusal, you are declining the invitation here. How to write it? Mr. and Mrs. Yemen Malaya, thank Mr. and Mrs. Menon. So again, you need to acknowledge them and you need to thank them. Yes, thank the host for inviting them on the occasion. What is the occasion? Of the fifth birthday of their son, Rahul on Monday, 22nd February, 2022 at Taj Hotel. When you again, you need to write it down. They regret, see, this is the main word here. They regret that they will not be able to attend the function. Why? What is the reason? Due to a prior engagement. You need to write it down like this. And again, you need to write it down in a box. Otherwise, marks will be deducted. Bear it in your mind. To fetch full marks, what you need to do? You need to follow all these details. That is, put it in a box and then write it down in third person. And then let's move on to formal invitation letter format. Okay. So up till now you have been uh, going through card print. Yes. And now it's a letter format. It's a formal letter. You do know that there are seven components for a formal letter. What are they? The very first one is sender's address and then date and then receiver's address. And then comes salutation. Then thereafter, subject and then body of the letter and then complementary close. This is how you need to go about. So here in the body of the letter, how to go about? We are pleased to invite. Here you don't want to write it down in third person, right? We are pleased to invite you as our chief guest to the 25th annual day that we wish to celebrate on 25th February 2022 in our school auditorium. It would be such a huge privilege to have you with us to preside over the function and hand over the prizes to the achievers. Then you need to write down whom to contact. Please contact us at the number. You need to give the phone number or send an email to ABC International School, whatever the mail ID has been given there in the question paper. Yes, you need to write it down. You shouldn't write down your phone number and your mail ID here. Whatever has been given there, either in the question paper or else some number like 9XXXX, something like that. Or um, for uh, mail ID, you can write XYZ at gmail.com. That will do, right? So here, complimentary close as usual for a formal letter, right? So here... This slide has got many starters, many starters for the body of the letter. See, for this one, to write down a letter, yes, letter to the chief guest, when you want to write a letter to the chief guest. So here, these are all the starters. So when will you be writing a letter to the chief guest? When you want to conduct, when you wish to conduct any program in your school or in any of the places, then in that case, when you wish to invite them to your place as the judge to 
conduct extempore or a judge to assess uh, essay competition or oratorical skill in that case you will be inviting a judge right so to invite a judge you should know about this type of letter writing yes invitation for annual day in case you want to write a letter to a person to judge the extempore then in that case what will you do what will you do invitation to judge and extempore that will do here invitation to judge dance competition that would be the subject so here are the starters for you you can have a look at these starters and you can go about and then the next line please confirm your availability as soon as possible or else you can write like this kindly confirm your availability at the earliest or else you are welcome to confirm your availability at the earliest convenience or we would appreciate your earliest availability but at the end you need to write it down beneath this one you need to write down the phone number as well as the uh, mail id right and now informal invitations informal invitations will be really very easy for you but again let me take you through informal invitations main characteristics informal invitations follow the pattern of ordinary personal letters you do know very well how to go about with a personal letter these letters are written to relatives friends and acquaintances these letters are first or second person presentations wherein there in the formal one you need to that is card print you need to write it down in the third person whereas here informal invitation you need to write it in first or second and then personal feelings and emotions find an expression and then the writer's address is given in the usual place the salutation is usually dear plus name and then the date of writing is given but the year is generally omitted the style and tone are relaxed and formal informal different tenses are used as per the requirement whereas there in the card print present tense and it is in single uh, sentence yes and in third person here in informal different tenses are used and then the complementary close and then comes so here what are all the components for informal invitation sender's address date salutation body complimentary close and then name so here is an example for you before that a question you are meena write an informal letter of invitation to your friend vinita on the occasion of your elder sister's marriage in about 50 words so first of all you need to write down your address and then date followed by salutation dear vinita dear plus name then look at this one body of the letter you will be pleased to know that the wedding of my eldest sister rena sen is going to be held on the 15th may 2022 at hotel lake view hyderabad the whole family will move there in the morning i invite you to join us for lunch in the hotel on the 15th the wedding ceremony will take place at 8 in the evening i do hope you will join us on the auspicious occasion then followed by complimentary close yours affectionately meena right so here you can write down uh, whatever you wish as per your desires as per your whims and fancies you can write it down here right and then comes informal letter to accept the invitation so again your address here date here and then dear plus name then so here to accept it, I feel delighted and honored to receive the invitation of your sister's marriage. I shall definitely come to attend the celebration a day before. Accept my congratulations. You need to congratulate them, right? Then again, yours affectionately or yours sincerely, uh, that is the complimentary close here. And then comes informal letter for refusal. When you want to refuse it, when you want to decline it, for some reasons you may be having any prior appointment in that case so again your address and date here and then followed by salutation dear plus name and then i feel delighted and honored to receive the invitation of your sister's marriage however come on i feel sorry to tell you that i won't be able to attend the marriage ceremony as 
I have to go to Vaisag to attend an interview. I send my heartiest congratulations and good wishes to you all on the auspicious occasion, followed by complimentary close. This is how you have to go about for informal letter for refusal. Yes, I do believe that children, you must have understood this very clearly, invitations and replies. Thank you, children. Thanks for listening to me patiently. Please do like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye.